Hello, we're going to make this beautiful crown connector um, from which you can hang the royal bee from. Um, and uh, we're going to go through some of the techniques in this uh, uh, short video now. Here is the crown connector that we're going to make today. It's really useful. It's got lots of um, hanging points and loops to hang and strand pearls from, for example. And I've used the lower loops to connect to the royal bee um, design and it's encrusted with pearls and crystals and it can be made in all sorts of different um, gemstones and wire colours but I particularly love the pearls and crystals in this one. Here is a template you're going to use to make the crown and there's frames of different sizes and colours um, in the diagram. There's a ruler here so you can print it out to size and you can screenshot it to do that. Just make sure your 7 to 8 millimetre pearl or your gemstone fits inside that larger section of the lobe. Um, and there's five frames, two of which are the same. So the main frame in blue is the main crown frame using 40 centimetres of one millimetre wire. Um, and then there's a green frame with the central detail frame using 25 centimetres of one millimetre wire, just like that. And then there's a crown band detail frame in purple that sits inside the blue frame that's using about um, 14 centimetres of one millimetre wire. And then two smaller 0.8 millimeter wire, about 10 centimeter lengths, make these side details that sit in mirror image, these crown band details, and they sit side by side within the band. Take the main crown frame, take a 40 centimeter length of one millimeter wire and clamp at the midsection with chain nose pliers, um, just a little way around the tip. And then I'm just going to push and bend um, the wires upwards um, to make the, the central portion and check against the diagram that's the right size and reshape if necessary. Then just shape along the diagram a little curve to make one of these little upright lobes. And then what I'm going to do is quickly bend round this top section and you can use round nose pliers to make that rounder. So I'm going to take it off the page and just make sure that's bent outwards a little more. Insert the round nose pliers and make a tiny loop at the top pulling the wire around the round nose pliers tightly and clamping fairly near the top of the pliers. Check against the diagram that the loop's the right size and then flare the wire outwards by gripping near the base of the loop and pulling the wire outwards to make that first little loop. Check it's in the right place and then bend a bit more firmly outwards and then shape around this side of the loop to form um, the outer side of this loop. Then clamp sideways to form the base of this loop, making sure it's in the right place. To make the bend sharper, just clamp either side of the bend. And then I'm going to make another loop and then come back to you to show you the next stage. So I've formed the next loop along and I'm just going to show you the next portion. So I'm going to make this little sideways bend at the edge of the crown with tiny little bends using the very tips of chain nose pliers, holding close to where you're bending to stop the frame distorting. You may have to reshape little bits, um, previous bits as it distorts slightly. Then I'm going to grip along using the diagram. I've turned the diagram to actually help me uh, to work from the side. Um, you can see me shaping. This bend needs a little bit more clamping along it, so I'm going to clamp either side of this bend um, to sharpen it up a little bit. So a few clamps here will help you with that. So you can use that again for the crown band detail. Then I'm going to shape along this curl at the base, pulling it around with my finger to make that little loop, pulling it over the dotted line there, just shaping the chain nose pliers, and then use flush cutter pliers to cut the very end of the tail. Then just make the other half in mirror image. So here's the finished crown frame with the other side made in mirror image to the other. We're now going to make the central detail frame using 25 centimetres of one millimetre wire using the green line on the diagram. So taking round nose pliers, grip near the centre of the wire and then near the tips of the pliers and pull the wire round with your fingers to form a little loop. Check against the diagram, you can make this smaller or bigger if you like. Um, and then just grip near the base of the loop and, fla and flare the wire out by pulling it around with your fingers, flare the wire out sharply on other side to form that top loop with a, with a sharp bend outwards and upwards on either side. And there we've got that top loop made. I'm just going to form one side. So again, bend upwards a little bit more using the diagram as a guide. I'm going to start um, forming the loop with a little pull downwards 
and then insert the round nose pliers again into position near the base of the loop and pull the wire around to form this side loop so you're using a fairly similar technique grip near the base of the loop again with the chain nose pliers flare the wire outwards and then place over the diagram which I'm going to turn to help me shape a bit more easily and I'm going to start making this diamond shape at the top with little tiny bends and manipulations of the chain nose, chain nose pliers just to help me shape down the side of this, this diamond shape uh, flare outwards to form a little hemicircle and then you're just making lots of wiggly shapes along the base of the crown lots of little wiggly shapes you can see how I'm doing that there we are lots of little wiggly shapes gripping near where I want to bend the wire take it out over the dotted line and then use plush cutter pliers to cut it at that little line at the end and that's half the shape made and you just need to make the other shape the other side in in mirror image so here it is um, made uh, with the other side done Here is the crown band detail frame um, made with 14 centimetres of one millimetre wire over the purple line on the diagram. Make sure it fits inside the blue line. Um, you have a curve to start off with. Clamp these either side of these bends and it's quite a simple little shape to make. Make sure these sides flare outwards on the side here. Um, and then you also need um, to make these two side um, details from about 10 centimetre lengths of 0.8 millimetre wire and you can see them fitting over the orange um, template there. I'm just going to show you how to curl the wire tails now. You can study these um, to see the direction of the curls and the sizing. You can help use the template also to help you um, size uh, them correctly. So I'm just going to show you the end of this um, crown detail. Taking some um, round nose pliers grip near the end of the wire tail and start to make a little turn curl and then use flush cutter pliers to cut the work hard and straight end off and um, because it looks like a pea and won't curl, won't curl properly and now reinsert the round nose pliers and holding near where you want to turn with one hand and then rotating the pliers with the other hand to make the little loose curl you can see how I'm doing that I'm just moving the fingers along a little bit then use the diagram just to help you shape the curl properly, gripping near where you, just not at the actual curl itself, near where you want to turn and just turning it into shape over the diagram. So um, I'll come back to you when they're all curled and we can do some hammering. I'm just going to use a little small face hammer on the steel block um, to hammer certain sections um, and the small face hammer helps you direct to small sections and not over, over other sections that you don't want to hammer. So um, here's the central crown, de crown detail frame. I'm going to hammer along the curly whirly bit at the bottom, hammering that side only and then the top loops but you don't hammer the rest of it and any hammer marks will appear on this side so this will be the front of the piece um, for the crown frame you need to hammer along these curly whirly bits at the top and only the loops but not the rest of it for the crown detail frame you need to hammer just the top loops and not the rest of it and for these little side detail frames you just need to hammer um, in mirror image these end curls but not the rest of it